Okay, um, these are all glued on now, looking good. Nice clear lumber there. Now that said, being that I'm utilizing um, uh, free lumber that was, um, it, it's an old cedar deck, and I'm picking through getting some nice wood. This is sistered with ply, so really I'm just looking for some meat to uh, set some screws in and, and uh, have glue uh, hold on. But that said, I'm also going through and re doing some repair. If there's black knots, I'm filling them. Here I'm actually, I made the filler of a knot, and here I'm using uh, an expanding Gorilla Glue. And that's just so that when it's done, I sand it smooth and and uh, and it's and it's looking decent. Uh, it's in a box uh, that's in a storage area, but nonetheless, it should be it should look decent. So, oh, actually, no, this one is it's in the kitchen. So yeah, it's it's part of the cabinet, but I would like it to look fairly decent. I did a, a decent job of uh, doing the splice so that the grain suits uh, relatively well, and. Uh, yeah, uh, so there is a downside to utilizing wood that is uh, uh, free cycled. Uh, it, it requires a little more time and effort to to make it nice and pick through it and and make sure you have a sound board that you're working with. There's a lot of pieces here that are split or or whatever, uh, but the the end result is great. And if you don't have cash and and we're we're working on a budget for sure, um, but you know, not complaining. Just, uh, just um, you know, having to utilize the resources that are available. That's all, and nothing wrong with that. I think people have been doing that for generations, and that's that's the thing that uh, makes boat building fun. Is uh, you find just the perfect little piece, and you can use it. Keep in mind, all small pieces um, usually get cut from big pieces, so. If, uh, if you happen to have a, a pile of smaller pieces around, and you can see I sorted through some of the decking um, and, and sorted them by length underneath the table here, and not all of it's nice. There's a pretty crappy piece right there. It'll probably end up as firewood or just screw cleats, And but there's some good stuff there. Uh, yeah, so um, at the end of the day... Um, since you are anyways cutting big pieces down to small pieces, you might as well start with, uh, if you have small pieces, you go to that pile first. And then you make use and you get all excited, or at least I do, <laughs> that that I've, I've utilized something that otherwise would be in the burn pile, right? Okay, guys, take care.